In this tutorial we'll be creating this loading text animation using After Effects new presets. So I've already got my text layers created here. The first one is a simple loading text and here we've got a blank number for the counter. So with my first layer selected I'm gonna go into my effects and presets and search for typewriter. Now we've got two options here. The first one is a basic letter by letter reveal and we don't want to use this one. So instead we'll go into the blinking cursor one and I'm gonna hit U to bring up the keyframes here and delay them about here. So we've got this blinking animation happening and then the text is being revealed kind of like a computer screen which is a really cool effect. And if we wanna get rid of this blinking cursor we we'll simply set a keyframe here on my checkbox, move one frame forward and disable it. Now we've also got the cursor shape here and we can change it to something like a shape like this one and basically it will follow along. So this is just a really cool effect and it's already built in your After Effects so why not use it. Now for the percentage we're gonna select the layer and type in counter. Now we've got a bunch of new counter presets here. I'm gonna be using the percentage one and I'll set the pad zero here to two, so we only see two of them. Hit U to bring up the keyframes and let's bring them closer here. And it's basically automatically gonna create this counter for you with the percentage simple and you don't need to use any expressions or anything like that. Now let's composite this to look like a screen. So I'm gonna start off by creating a new solid here and we might make it dark, kinda almost black, but not really there. And I'll create a new adjustment layer the first effect we're going to be using is Venetian Blinds. And if we increase the completion here to 5, you can see we're getting this vertical lines along our composition. And we can rotate them 90 degrees here, just so they're horizontal. I will also go into my width and set it to 10 to get more of these. And we can feather it out just a bit here, so I'll set the feather to 1. Next up, we're going to use a glow. And I'm going to be using the default glow just in case you don't have it. And we can increase the radius here and lower the intensity just to give this a bit of a glow. And this is optional, but I'm going to create a new adjustment layer and add a CC ball action. Now this looks kind of strange here, but if we set the grid spacing to maybe 3 and lower the ball size, you can see we're getting this small dots, kind of like a LCD screen if you close up on it. And it just helps us sell the effect. Now, you don't have to use this, but in case you want to achieve this look, this is how you can do it in one way. All right, let's go ahead and pre-compose everything. And I'll just scale up my composition here to avoid these borders. And we're going to start adding some color correction here. So I'll add a curves effect and give it a basic S curve here. We'll go into the red channel bring it down a bit, go into the blue channel and bring it up. I'll create a new adjustment layer. And the only plugin I'm gonna be using here is Quick Chromatic Aberration, which is a free plugin from the same guys who made Deep Glow and it is free, so why not get it? So I'll set the position here to two and it just increases the chromatic effect here. Then we'll go into the stylistic and we can set the distortion just a bit here. This kind of works like a CC lens and maybe blur it out just a bit. Maybe set it to like three. And lastly, let's go into the layer here and add a noise and let's bring it up to 20. And this is how simple it is to create this sort of animation and look. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.